The list of candidates is now out. It's MDC against MDC and ZANU-PF against ZANU-PF. The Zimbabwe Electoral Commission has published a list of candidates for the 2018 election. There's a lot to talk about on this list, but first, just a few numbers. 23. That's the number of presidential candidates, 1,652. The total number of candidates contesting for the 210 National Assembly seats, 55. That's the total number of political parties in this election. At least we're down from the 130 parties that had said they wanted to take part. Priscilla Chugumba must be relieved. And here's an interesting number, 247. That's the record number of independent candidates in this election. If you're on the MDC Alliance or ZANU-PF, there's a lot for you to worry about when you look at this candidate list. Let's start with the MDC Alliance. In Nsiza North, the Alliance is no candidate. They say they are backing a Zapu candidate. No candidate either in Hurungwe East. The party says it's now supporting Sera Mahoko of the NPF. Now remember her. She's the former Secretary for Finance in the ZANU-PF Women's League. She's the one who once called President Blanga Dakisi. That was just two years ago. Things changed real fast in Zim politics. Then you have constituencies like Chiredzi East and Chiredzi North. There are no MDC Alliance candidates there. The party says this is a mistake by Zek, but Zek says they're working on it. A big worry for the MDC is that they couldn't field a candidate in 89 council wards. Of these 89, ZANU-PF has gone uncontested in 46. In total, there are 14 constituencies where we have more than one MDC Alliance candidate. The party says the extra candidates are being told to withdraw, but then the ZEC deadline to withdraw candidates has passed. There was only a seven-day window. So we don't know whether these multiple candidates will be on the ballot or not. But is it better over there at ZANU-PF? No, it's not. It's not just the alliance that could be dividing its vote. A lot of unhappy ZANU-PF candidates are standing as independents. There are six independents in Goromonzi South. Most of them are ZANU-PF. We're seeing a lot of sitting ZANU MPs running as independents too. Beatrice Nyampinga in Goromonzi West, Godfrey Gandawa and Noah Mangondo in Murewa South. So all you ZANU-PF supporters celebrating the multiple MDC Alliance candidates have to chill. It can happen to you too. Nothing. Nothing in this election is guaranteed. But what exactly is this candidate is telling us? Well, one thing is clear. Both of the two main parties are struggling with internal democracy. It just isn't there. Primary elections were both badly handled in the MDC and ZANU-PF. Can parties that fail the democracy test in their own house pass the democracy test outside of it? Our parties have to get this. This democracy thing has to start at home. It's easy to preach about democracy, reforms, or talk about a new dispensation, but it's a lot harder for our politicians to actually practice it. Just as we are demanding better elections nationally, it's time we also demand the same from our own parties. Because this is where it all starts. All that cheating, the violence, candidate imposition, bribery, this whole culture of refusing to accept defeat. It starts inside our own parties. Then we all act surprised when it spreads to the national elections. It's time to demand better from our parties. Because this is where it all begins. For a change, Zimbabweans demanded something and they got it. We are amazed and overwhelmed by the love that Zimbabweans have for Brand Mazoe and we have listened to the feedback and we'll be bringing back the original Mazoe taste that consumers prefer and love. Shrips announced that the old Mazoe is back. This came after massive protests from the public. Shrips had changed the ingredients of our Mazoe. It was less sweet. It had a bad aftertaste. They said it was for health reasons, but the masses refused to take it. Deny Zimbabweans their vote, deny them their rights, but never, never try to take away their Mazoe from them. Shrimps heard their cries and the old Mazoe is back on our shelves this month. Charles Msipa is respected in the industry and handled the situation well. But the battle is not yet over. There are many more wars to be fought. Next stop, pork pies. We've all seen those pork pies. It's all pie and no pork. You need to send a search party to find the pork in this pie. It's a mockery. There are more products to be dealt with. You guys who make potato chips, don't for one moment think we don't see what you're doing. You're filling up the packets with air. We see you. We're coming for you too. But this is no joke. For too long, consumers have taken too much lying down. We just don't have a strong consumer activism in Zim. We need it now. We don't even know what the Consumer Council of Zimbabwe is doing. Is anybody there? The Consumer Council is funded by taxpayers. Well, at least it's supposed to. The Consumer Council is supposed to get an allocation from the Ministry of Industry and Trade. They're not getting this money. And our laws need to change too. 
The Consumer Protection Bill has been in Parliament since 2013. MPs have ignored it. So we're using laws from the colonial era to protect the modern consumer. The Consumer Council has been pushing for a new bill for over 10 years now. So what do we need? We need a stronger Consumer Council. We need organized consumers to push for their rights. Consumer protection is not taken seriously enough in Zimbabwe. It's easy for service providers to offer us substandard work. And why not? They know they'll get away with it. There's nobody to hold them to account. We need someone to test the products we are buying. Someone to monitor our prices to make sure we aren't being ripped off. Someone that fights in our corner. There are brands that Zimbabweans love. Mazoe, Sunjam, Things, Cerevita, Lemon Creams, Chumpkin Chips and many others. You just don't wake up and change them. Yes, they are your brands, but they belong to us. They're more than just products. They're part of our national identity. So this is a special message to all of you corporates. If you're going to change anything about these very Zimbabwean products, you need a national referendum. Or else, we're marching to your offices.